Hello, Soarers. Welcome to your monthly reading from March. <laughs> so we're going to go into three different spreads. Uh, the first one is general for March, overall energy. Then we're going to do one on love, specifically love energy, emotional energy. And then the last one is more of a spirit message. It kind of sums up really quickly what's going on in March. Okay. So let's get into your general energy. We're going to start with oracle cards first. So we have mother in reverse. It is mothering or abandoning children, um, insulting, oh, insulting, instilling guilt in children for becoming independent. So this is like an over nurturing energy, and um, also when you want to feel needed. And other people are finally doing things without your need or without your help, trying to make it so they need you, you know, and not letting people grow on their own. Lady of Lightning. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Lady of Lightning, we have surprises, sometimes shock, total paradigm shift. Uh, the Fire Prince, Optimism, Aggression. The Phoenix, Resurrection, Surrender to Change. I feel like all these go here. And then we have Wolf Instinct, Nature Spirits, Forest Breath, and Iceberg Submerge. Okay, Taurus, let's get into this because I feel like um, I got a lot to say. Okay. Um, I feel like you're going to have to figure out. <laughs> March is about you learning how to nurture in the correct way. Um, most of us feel like nurturing is being overbearing or telling people what to do or sort of uh, being there to micromanage people's lives. And you're coming out of that in March and finding a proper way to do it for each individual or maybe one specific situation that you're in. Now, I feel like this is a big shift for you. It's a big change for you, but it's something that needs to happen, okay? Um, I feel like it's a new direction. You're going to have trouble with it through March. Um, I feel like the push and pull of authority is what you're going to have a problem with. Um, especially if it has to do with uh, a work situation. So your main focus, and it always is, Taurus, is making sure that everything is in order, right? Um, but also you're going to have to learn how to delegate. You know, you're going to have to learn how to do things a new way. Um, it's not about being overbearing. It's not about pushing, and it's not about micromanaging. You have to surrender sometimes. <laughs> This is going to sound crazy, but for things to fall apart so they can be built up um, in a way that fits that circum circumstance. So that certain circumstance. So sometimes things have to kind of implode on itself in order to figure out how to fix it in the right way. Let's give an example. So let's say at work, you're always the one who puts this certain report in all the time. You've told them multiple times that someone else is going to have to learn how to put this report in. So they in they put someone in the position to do the report, but they always ask you every single time how to do this, how to do that. Or you have to say, oh, did you put the report in? They're like, oh, yeah, let me go do that now. So you've always had your hand in it, even though they gave that responsibility to someone else. So what I mean in this energy is you will have to stop helping that person or stop reminding them so it can fail. And it almost is like a lesson learned for them. It's like they have to learn things the hard way. So in this situation, I feel like, like I said, sometimes you have to allow something to implode in order to get that other person to learn a lesson or to get it to flow the way it should be. The problem is your instinct is to fix issues and problems. That's what you want to do. You want to be there to fix it. You want to be there to make it work. But there's a pattern to things. In nature, there's always a pattern. 
And I feel like you have to let the pattern kind of uh, balance itself out without your control. And that's what's going to be hard. So I would say in March, um, Taurus, you're going to take a bigger break on things than you probably ever have before. Um, I feel like you're going to have to learn how to remain patient and calm within yourself because you're going to be like, this is, a, excuse my language, like a shit show. You know, I'm like, I cannot believe this. Um, but I feel like there's more issues that need to be dealt with than what you can fix. I feel like you're maintaining things on a upper level, but underneath it all, it just needs a whole restructuring, whatever this is, okay? It's kind of hard to explain, but that's the general feel I'm getting from the energy. Okay, Taurus. Six of Pentacles. Giving a lot of yourself. Stopping things from falling apart. Yeah. Uh, the problem with you always trying to make sure that everything doesn't fall apart is it always ends up back on you again. So even though you've tried to step back, I feel like you're still integrated in some sort of way, whether it's you doing that for yourself, like you just can't take it anymore, or you need to feel useful, or um, they keep putting you in the midst of whatever it is. Either or, um, it feels like you're the one maintaining things from falling apart. The problem is when the tower comes out, it's meant to fall apart. It's meant to crumble underneath itself so that the conflict can be shown without you coming in to fix everything, without you coming in to spend your time and effort to try to fix it. I feel like you don't like it. I feel like it it's sort of a it sort of brings a struggle onto you, you know. But at the same time, it's like ego wise, you have to let it happen. You have to. People have to learn, situations have to get better. Not only for them, not only for the bigger picture, but also for you. Because I feel like you've been giving way too much of yourself in this situation, Taurus. You know, way too much of yourself with like not enough compensation. That's what it feels like. Okay. Yeah. If, if you continue to try to fix this, you're going to be stuck in this situation where you're not getting what you deserve. I'm going to say that whether that's money or a position, like maybe you're doing the work from someone else's position or something like that. Um, but I feel like there's someone that's higher up than you that isn't making the right decisions. And it's almost like they're creating this conflict by the decisions that they're making. And you kind of have to let them make these terrible decisions so they can see what needs to be resolved, right? Um, I feel like they're going to feel some way about it emotionally, but at this point, it's like they need to, they need to dig into figuring out how to resolve this. It's, it's literally not your job. You know, I'm going to say that for sure. Um, <coughs> also, it'd be good for you uh, to find more joy in this situation because you're not always trying to fix it without the proper amount of recognition for what it is that you do. Um, another thing is you're worried about your future and your legacy, you know, because if you pull back or if you allow this to fall, what does this mean in the bigger picture? So I see you struggling with both of those things. I see you worried about your family, your future, your stability, um, if you don't put in the extra effort, you know, you're like, I'm not, I'm not making this secure for me by stepping back. But emotionally, I feel like you're drained from this, you know, like you're not getting what you deserve, you know. Um, then we have the moon, the world and the high priestess, three major arcana and one up there. That's a lot. So there's a, com well, a come to Jesus moment in March, Taurus. And this is more like you have this understanding, 
um, it's kind of a deceptive thought. Um, it's self-deception that I have to be involved in this. For some reason, it is my responsibility. Um, the thing is, you know that it's not your responsibility, but you're like, the quicker that I resolve this, the quicker I don't have to hear about it or the quicker I don't have to deal with it. The problem is this is a moment where you need to stop, pause, pay attention, see the situation as a whole. And when you do that, you'll see that it's not up to you. It's up to someone else outside of you to resolve this. It, it's, it's their journey. It's their lesson. It's their responsibility. Someone may think you don't care about them or you're not being a team player or you're not um, seeing eye to eye, you know, you're, you don't care about them, but this is more like they want things to go back to how it was and how you used to handle things and take care of things. Um, so they feel some sort of emotional way about it and they're kind of gearing that towards you like, oh, you don't care or, oh, you're not interested. But really and truly, it's because they have to take control of their life. They have to take control of their responsibilities. But this is their way of kind of deflecting that onto you and manipulating the situation instead of doing what they need to do. I'm going to be honest with you. Five of Cups, Nine of Coins, and the King of Coins. Yeah, you're moving on from this. This is like, I'm taking this terrible situation and turning it into a lesson learned for me you know I do feel like it's going to pass as well um I feel like you're taking control of your time your responsibilities your life in a way where you matter your time matters your um, opinion matters you matter I need to make more money if I'm going to do this you know I need it's like you just need more compensation for what it is you're doing you deserve that if you take out the emotional parts of it, it's like I'm giving way too much of myself that I could be using to help me as an individual. So it is a focus more on yourself, Taurus, um, and it helps other people think about themselves as well. OK, it does feel a little bad. You know, it takes a little bit of a light lightness out of the situation and out of the workplace. Like it's not as fun. Um because I feel like you've established at this point that you're more important, not in a negative way, but it's like what I need is, is important. Um, and they feel some type of way about it because they want to go back to how it was. Um, a lot of it is because they felt like they were in control. And this is like realizing that they're not in control as much as they thought they were. So it's more of a realization to them that they need to walk. They're too emotionally into this when they don't need to be. This is more business. And in my mind, I'm like, this is business. This has nothing to do with how I feel about you as an individual. Um, I feel like you don't like the fact that they're making it hard or making it more emotional than it needs to be. And it's not your perfect scenario. Yeah, but at the same time, you're working towards a specific goal, okay? So I do feel like right now... Um, you're kind of getting rid of like these transactional kind of relationships in your life where you don't get compensation. You're doing it um, more volunteer basis or out of uh, not need, but pity and things like that. I feel like a lot of that is changing up for you in March, Taurus. Yeah, where you weren't taking risks on yourself because you thought they were foolish and like kind of sticking with sticking with the program. I feel like you're working on that. And the thing you need to know, Taurus, is you're working on it the right way. I do feel like other people kind of make you feel bad for your choices. I don't feel like you feel bad for them because you know what's right for you and you're actually standing up for you yourself. You're just like, why is everybody so mad about it? Why is this other person so intense about it? Um, but I feel like you're working towards creating a stability or a future that is comfortable for you. And I don't see anything the matter with that. Okay.
this is not the funnest, most light month. I can tell you that. Um, because once you start opposing other people's <laughs> what they want to happen, it gets a little bit hectic. Uh, I feel like you're going to have to take moments to kind of deflect other people's emotional feelings about things towards you, like uh, ignore it or move on from it or kind of work through it. Um, there's a lot of maintaining this week. Uh, maintaining between emotions and maybe not even yours, but other people's emotions and work and real things that matter. I mean, not that emotions don't matter, but like um, work, job, responsibilities, and then like emotions. So I feel like you're going to be switching in between the two or learning how to work in the midst of that. And that it d comes up as something that is not going to be fun for you this month. Okay. All right. Let's get into love. All right, Taurus, your love reading. <laughs> okay. So we have the distorted feminine again, more nurturing energy. So well, March is a big over nurturing energy for you. Um, trying your best to like fix things for people or be the one to save everyone. Um, which is always in your energy for some reason to me. I feel like that's something that a lot of people don't know about you <laughs> because they think you're like hard, but really you care about the people that are around you, you know? And then we have wedding, soulmate, teacher, longing, desperation, attachment, the healing light, guardian angel, spirit family, personal guide, and happy success. Okay. Overall, I feel like your love life is going good in March. Um, <laughs> your idea is for everything to go well. It always is. And I always start off with that. So every decision you make, every choice you make is always for the best. In, in your mind, in your psyche, in your understanding, it's always to make things better. Whether people know it or not. Okay. Um I feel like you, um, you want a happy relationship. You want a steady relationship. Um, I'm going to say this. I feel like the person that you're dealing with, whether married or dating someone, um, they have this idea of what marriage is. And commitment means that's different than yours. You're more like we work through problems together. We're more of a team. Uh, we learn lessons. We grow, that type of thing. They're like, my partner is just supposed to do what I want them to do, <laughs> sort of. Um, that's more of their take on things. Like uh, they have a more TV version of what marriage is. I'm going to say that. And you have more of a logical, I've been here before, um, realistic view. Okay. <laughs> uh, and, and your idea is to not, you know, I feel like you have been sort of doing what this person wants, like your partner, to, to kind of supplement their happiness, you know, to make things go smoothly. But there comes a point where you also have to be right, you know. You your your choices, your desires, what you want also matter. Um I don't know if you hear something on TV or a podcast or you just come to an understanding in in yourself and with your spirit that you also have rights. Um, you, your, your opinion also matters. Your happiness in a relationship or a situation also should be um, integrated, not just your partner. And your first step is to create that in March. You're like creating that. Um, there does come a crossroads, I feel like, with your partner. When you start pushing towards that, that they're, they're really 
entangled in listening to you as a partner and understanding where you're coming from and their own feelings about things. So I feel like they're trying to learn, but this is a learning lesson. But I do feel like there's pushback from them. Okay. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Coins, and the Eight of Swords. I will say that everybody, both of you and the person that you're dealing with, um, are stuck in what they think is right. I feel like for a long time, you have just been allowing things to happen, knowing that they're not right or they don't feel right to you, you know? It's like you're deceiving yourself or going along with something just to keep the peace. It's like you've made that decision in your head towards like, this is just the best route. I'm just going to take this and we're going to leave it that way. But it's getting you to a point in March where all of those decisions that you've made, um you're thinking about them. You're like, I'm keeping myself in a situation that eventually is not true to me. And you want to do something about it. The only thing this person sees is you changing direction. It's definitely time for them to, to focus and analyze, but all they see is my normal, not my version of normal is changing. They're not thinking about it in the big picture. They're just like, this is affecting me in the following ways. <laughs> That's all that they're thinking, okay? Yeah, you're not comfortable here. Like, this is not your ideal situation. This is not how you feel comfortable. This is not how you feel um, celebrated, you know, you just want to make things more comfortable and more better. You want your home life to be more happy. I see that. Your relationships, your 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 life outside of work. And I feel like there's a lot. There may have been talk about splitting up or breaking up or just not seeing things eye to eye or what can we do to get things back on track. I feel like there has there's a lot of talk about that, especially in February, the end of February. Um, I see the person you're dealing with, they feel like they're the one that has to, I don't know how to explain this. It's like they're the one that has to make the first move, say the first thing, have the first answer. It almost feels like they have to be right all the time. Um, or... Maybe even just saying it's you, you know, it's it's like they're not seeing their way. It's like they always know how to fix this. That's what I'm getting from it. Um, but I feel like this is something they always do. This is their way of protecting themselves from having to change or having to do things differently to put it on you. Um, and this makes you feel confused because it's like, I don't feel like my partner is listening to me. I don't feel like they understand where I'm coming from. This doesn't feel fair, okay? And because of this, this all comes together of you not feeling heard, okay? Or not being seen. King of Cups, King of Swords, and the Queen of Coins. Yeah, you're relatively in control of your emotions as a person, you know? You're really good at that. But I feel like it's starting to bother you. It is emotion that's being released here, but I feel like you don't see it that way. It's more, you're not feeling heard and it's making you feel some type of way. And you're like, so this is telling me that what I'm doing is wrong, that I have been on the wrong path, that something is off, that it's me. But you're like, I don't, I can't see that it's me, right? 
but they're very adamant that it's you. <laughs> they're very adamant. They're they're not trying to change. They don't want to hear it. Um, and this, in turn, is making you feel like you're not emotionally being heard. Um, and it's also making you feel like, kind of like, what am I, what am I investing all this energy into? You know, it's like you're just taking this relationship one day at a time and you're not really enjoying it so much. So yeah, somebody you're dealing with is super closed off and their direction is disorganized. I feel like one time they're like, we need this. The next time we're like, we need this. And you're like, what in what is going on? And all you're trying to do is make plans to kind of expand this relationship or go to the next point it's like you're trying to get over whatever this is you know but this seems to be something that is like it seems to be something that's buried in this relationship that you can't seem to fix it's like you have I'm going to be honest what it feels like to me in here right now is that there's a barrier that you two just can't touch and once you can get there you can resolve it and then I feel like all these little things will start to work themselves out but you can't quite get to whatever that is. Um, yeah, you're just tired of fighting. They are trying their best to like get around what the issue is. So you can't even touch it to get past it. Ugh. Yeah, there's a lot of focus on getting things back to how it was. Both of you are trying to like nurture things to get it back to where it was in the past. I feel like that's the focus, like to get things on a more happier, steady note. Um, there could be financial issues as well that people that somebody doesn't want to stop spending an excessive amount of money. Um, and they're like, oh, well, you just don't want me to be happy, you know, something like that. But it's some it's very interesting to me because it seems like something that could easily be resolved but someone doesn't even want to admit it five of swords seven of cups in reverse and the three of cups i feel like you're kind of hanging your head on some of this source it's more like okay well let's just deal with this battle at the top of the iceberg instead of dipping in because this person won't let me dip in um the thing is, you're dealing with somebody that's using a method of not dealing with their issues, right? Um, they need to become more aware of what's going on with them. And I feel like this is not the time, right? Um, there's too much negativity coming off every time you try to bring this up or when you try to work it out. So again, it's that same energy I said in the general it's like you're going to have to let this person fall and then be like, oh, well, you want to know what we can do to fix this now? You know, that type of thing. Um, but I feel like they're not going to see it no matter how much you try to bring it up um, out of care or whatever. They're just not ready. They're going to use it as you being mean to them or not listening to them or understanding them in some way. Yeah. So I feel like your new direction in March is going to be to just handle things one thing at a time instead of trying to dig deep. Um, even though you feel like there's no reward from this because you know it's not the right direction to go in, this is what you're, <laughs> this is what you have on the plate right now to use. This person that you're dealing with is not focused on the matter at hand. I feel like they're not ready to heal because they haven't seen it. They're living in their own like illusionary bubble and they have to see it, you know? Um, so right now, I feel like it's more about you trying to um, Ooh, this is interesting. Someone is reviving a friendship. We're, we're out of this now. We're in something else. Someone's reviving a friendship, and it's very emotionally taxing. And I'm going to say this because if you're in a relationship, this friendship is taking away the lack of love that you're feeling in this relationship and putting it in this one. Okay, so be careful of trying to be too over flirty 
um, this has the potential to turn into a third party situation, whatever this is. So look out for this energy because this just shows up. It shows up because someone is feeling um, thwarted, thwarted. Someone is feeling not listened to. Someone is feeling hurt and they're putting that energy into something else or someone else. So be careful of it because I feel like it starts off as like some sort of friendship. Okay. All right. Let's see what you don't see. Yeah. Keep in mind that lack of love just makes you find it somewhere else. And this doesn't mean cheating. This just means you're trying to find that lack of happiness in a different place, whether you or them. Um, yeah. Be careful about the choices you make trying to find a substitute love energy for that um, just so you can be happy. OK, so be careful because I feel like that can turn into third party relationships or overspending or something weird like that. Now, I do feel like um, you're very proud of yourself because you know what it is that you want. And I feel like you feel passionate about making it happen, right? So it's like, I know what's best for my prosperity, for my happiness, for me to flourish in a relationship. And you are initiating that, which is great. But I do feel like because there's pushback from your partner about it, uh, that there's a, there is a chance that they're going to try to find that emotional fulfillment, you or them, it can go either way from something else, a person spending money, um, over shopping, overeating, something like a habit that forms. Okay. So let's get into your spiritual energy. All right, Taurus. So we have complacency, completion and soulmate. Um, this is very much a big energy of you wanting to live your best life and being allowed to do so. So I feel like you're taking control of the narrative of your life and what's next for you. Um, and the, the systems that have been set up in your life, if they're not working properly, if those gears are not flowing right and you have to keep fixing one or two, you're going to do what you need to do to either get rid of that, those gears or resolve the issue in a way that you don't have to come back to it. It's coming up very technical like that for me. Um, it's all about you. You're learning the lesson. It's like, OK, I may be wrong. I may be right. That's fine. But what do we need to do to resolve this? What is the bottom line here? The key is to have things to resolve issues with people, um, with connections, with situations in your life, work and all, so things can flow normally, so you can get back to day-to-day -day, uh, operations. <laughs> it's really coming up to me like that. Very technical, very straightforward. Okay? So I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.